So you got yourself a big old TV, some surround sound speakers, a sofa that reclines. It's not a movie theater, but it's pretty good. So you're ready to sit down and watch a movie in the comfort of your own home. You're snuggled up, you got sweat, whatever it is, you're comfy. There's one thing that I've never been able to replicate about the movie theater at home, and it's the popcorn. Microwave popcorns, none of it has ever come out and tasted like that movie theater popcorn. But I think I have, and I'm gonna show you how to do it too. Is that too dramatic? Seems a little dramatic. This is pretty simple. The first thing you wanna do is not use regular microwave popcorn. It just doesn't taste the same. I've tried zhuzhing it and whatnot. It's not gonna taste like movie theater popcorn. But we're still gonna cook our popcorn in the microwave. Now, you could get a big giant popcorn popper like the, but I don't have room for that in my little living room because my living room is my movie theater. We don't have any kind of dedicated theater room. So I gotta work with what I gotta work with. I'm using this thing. It is a cheapy, plasticky, it's actually silicone. It goes like that. You put your popcorn kernels in here. No but, no oil, no seasoning, nothing. Just popcorn kernels. The lid goes in loose and you microwave it. And I gotta say, it tastes like popcorn popper popcorn. It's very good. I don't know why it tastes better than microwave, regular microwave popcorn, since it's still being cooked in the microwave but it does, and it's simple. You can just rinse this thing out with some soap and water, super easy to use. We're gonna need some popcorn. Use any popcorn you like. I got this big old jug of popcorn on Amazon for a pretty good price. You could use an air popper, whatever you want. This is just what I got going on for my house. All right, so we got popcorn, a way to pop it, and here's the most important two things you're gonna need. This is called seasoning salt, popcorn seasoning salt. Be really careful with this, it is powerful. A little goes a long way. I made my, I got a little shaker so that I can kind of lightly dust it over and mix it with the popcorn. The instructions say to add it to the popcorn popper, but that's if you had like a real popcorn machine. In this thing, its instructions say don't add any seasoning, don't add any oils, not a good idea, could cause a fire. So we just sprinkle a little bit of this on our popcorn after it's popped. Last but not least, the secret juice. I know it is terrible. It's not real butter. It's, it's just oil that's flavored to taste like something. But you know what? If you want your popcorn to taste like the stuff they have at the movie theater, well guess what? This is the stuff they use at the movie theater. So this is what you gotta use. You can be as liberal with this as you want and make it super over the top or go light with it, whatever you want. I'll show you my little mix, but first we gotta pop up some popcorn. So we pop it on 70% power for two to four minutes. You just kinda wanna wait until the popping stops between like two to three seconds between pops. Don't burn your popcorn. The worst thing you can do is burn popcorn. Horrible smell. You'll also see as the lid kind of gets to the top, just go ahead and stop it. If you have a couple extra unpopped kernels, no big deal. And there we have it. Fresh pop popcorn. Now, this is very, very bland. No flavor. We can fix that. Big bowl. Popcorn, popcorn in big bowl. This is my little shaker I have that I'm using for my popcorn salt. Go light first. You can always add more. If you add too much, you're hitting salt town. So we're just gonna butter. We are gonna pour a little bit of this And I like to take mine with a, a bowl that has a lid. Pop that lid on there. And we'll give it a taste. I can use a little bit more popcorn salt. Butter level seems good. 
And that there, folks, is a dead ringer for movie theater popcorn. It's buttery, or that stuffy, salty, nice and crispy. Now I can go watch a movie. I got my popcorn, a tasty beverage, and it's time to watch a movie. Alexa, turn off the lights. Thanks for watching. All of the items that I used in the video are in the description below. You can hit them up, maybe get them if you want. You can watch some of these other videos. Maybe give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe. All that kind of fun YouTube-y stuff. And enjoy your popcorn. And enjoy a movie.